Uh, some breaking news in the last few minutes. A door panel that flew off a Boeing 737 MAX 9 jet mid-flight last month appeared to be missing four key bolts. That's according to a preliminary report from the U.S. investigators. In a shocking turn of events, the aviation industry is facing turbulence like never before. I humbly crave your indulgence to stay tuned as we discuss the $200 million turbulence, the impact of Boeing's blowout on United Airlines' bottom line. From unexpected mid-flight mishaps to high-stakes financial fallout, this is a story that's making headlines across the globe. But what exactly went down? And how is it reshaping the future of one of America's largest airlines? We're going to break down the dramatic sequence of events, uncovering the twists and turns that led United Airlines on an unstable ride of profitability and setbacks. Let's unravel the mystery behind this $200 million saga together. Unexpected turbulence. Let's go back to the beginning of the year 2024 when the skies are bustling with planes flying in all directions. Amidst these operations, something unexpected happens that sends shockwaves through the airline industry. It all starts with an Alaska Airlines flight soaring through the clouds until a sudden blowout rattles its passengers. Yeah, you heard it right, a blowout midair. This incident, happening in January 2024, doesn't just affect Alaska Airlines. It sets off a chain reaction that reverberates all the way to United Airlines. Now let's zoom in on United Airlines. They're cruising along, minding their business, when suddenly they get hit with some major turbulence. The blowout on the Alaska Airlines flight it turns out it's a part of the same family of planes United operates, the Boeing 737 MAX 9. And guess what? The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, takes notice. They're not taking any chances, so they ground the entire MAX 9 fleet. Just like that, thousands of United flights are grounded, disrupting their operations big time. But let's not forget the ripple effect. United and Alaska Airlines are the only two U.S. carriers flying the MAX 9. So when these planes are grounded, not just one airline, but the entire industry felt the pinch. Customers are left scrambling, airlines are losing money, and everyone's looking to Boeing for answers. Imagine the chaos behind the scenes, thousands of flights canceled, passengers stranded, and revenue plummeting. It was a perfect storm of unexpected events, leaving United scrambling to navigate the turbulence. Financial fallout. Let's look at the financial fallout experienced by United Airlines due to the unexpected turbulence caused by the MAX 9 grounding and other related incidents. In the first quarter of 2024, United Airlines found itself facing a hefty pre-tax loss of $164 million. Imagine that, a major hit right out of the gate for the new year. This loss was a real blow, especially considering the airline had been gearing up to turn a profit. But then, just when they thought things couldn't get worse, the MAX 9 grounding hit them like a ton of bricks. You see, the Federal Aviation Administration's decision to ground the Boeing 737 MAX 9 fleet had a monumental impact on United's operations. With thousands of flights canceled over several weeks, the airline faced a staggering $200 million hit to its bottom line. That's no small change, folks. It's like taking a hit to your savings account and watching your hard-earned cash disappear into thin air. But hey, every cloud has a silver lining, right? Well, sort of. Despite the financial setback, there were compensatory measures in play. Alaska Airlines, the other U.S. carrier operating the MAX 9, managed to secure a sweet $160 million cash payment from Boeing as compensation for lost revenues stemming from the door plug blowout incident. So at least someone got a bit of relief from the storm. Now you might be wondering, what about United? Did they get any compensation to soften the blow? Well, unfortunately, there's no mention of United receiving any direct compensation in the reports. It seems like they had to weather the financial storm on their own, with no lifeline from Boeing to help cushion the fall. In the end, it's clear that the financial fallout from the MAX 9 grounding and related incidents had a significant impact on United Airlines' revenue and profitability. With millions of dollars lost and no immediate compensation in sight, it's a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of the airline industry and the challenges companies like United face in navigating through turbulent times. Navigating Challenges with Boeing Navigating challenges with Boeing has been like steering through stormy skies for United Airlines. On a more serious note, certification delays for Boeing's MAX 7 and MAX 10 models are causing some serious turbulence in United's flight plans. These delays are no joke. 
they're like trying to fly with one wing clipped. Let's break it down. With the Max 7 and Max 10 models grounded in paperwork, United's fleet expansion dreams are put on hold. The company had big plans to beef up its aircraft lineup with these new models. But alas, those plans have hit some major roadblocks. So what's United doing about it? They're not just sitting back and twiddling their thumbs, that's for sure. Instead, they're making strategic adjustments to weather the storm. This means rethinking their fleet structure and even canceling orders. Take their decision to cancel the Max 10 order, for example. United had its eyes set on receiving 80 shiny new Max 10s in 2024, ready to take flight and expand their operations. But with the certification delays throwing a wrench in the works, they've had to rethink their strategy. They're literally scratching a plan off the drawing board and starting from square one. Now you might be wondering, how does this impact United's long-term plans? Well, this seems like making changes to the lanes on a highway. You might get some traffic, but you'll still get to your destination. Though a bit later than planned, United's growth trajectory might take a hit in the short term, but they're still aiming for the skies in the long run. And let's not forget about operational efficiency. With fleet restructuring and order cancellations, United is streamlining its operations to navigate these challenging times. CEO's vision and adaptation strategies. Let's delve into how United Airlines, led by CEO Scott Kirby, tackled the challenges it faced in the wake of the Boeing incident with resilience and adaptation. Kirby's approach was clear. In times of trouble, United needed to be flexible and innovative. Firstly, Kirby stressed the importance of resilience. He understood that tough times were inevitable, but what mattered most was how United responded. By fostering a culture of resilience, Kirby instilled confidence within the company, showing that United was ready to tackle any obstacle head-on. But resilience alone wasn't enough. Kirby also recognized the need for adaptation. He knew that the airline industry was always changing, and United had to change with it. So Kirby spearheaded strategies to adapt, ensuring that United remained competitive in a rapidly evolving market. A crucial part of Kirby's vision was seizing opportunities and meeting customer demands. He knew that to stay ahead, United had to anticipate what customers wanted before they even knew it themselves. This meant constantly analyzing market trends and adjusting United's offerings accordingly. For instance, in response to the Boeing incident, Kirby reevaluated United's fleet plans. By canceling some orders and reallocating resources, he ensured that United could still meet the demands of its customers while navigating the challenges posed by the grounding of certain aircraft models. Additionally, Kirby placed a strong emphasis on customer satisfaction. He understood that happy customers were key to United's success. So Kirby and his team worked hard to enhance the passenger experience, offering improved services and amenities to make flying with United an even better experience. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the $200 million turbulence hitting United Airlines. What are your thoughts on the impact of Boeing's blowout? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more engaging content. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.